All right, y'all. One thing I always loved about growing up, more so now as I look back with rose-tinted nostalgia, was the tradition in my family of talks and discussions. It'd take place at the dinner table, on car rides, on family vacations, anywhere we gathered. And it was especially more so enjoyable when my aunt and uncle were with us because we got a whole new variety of opinions. Didn't matter what age, there was always a question of what do you think about X, Y, and Z. In the same vein, I get to continue that with my nephew. Now, while originally I'd planned for this to air yesterday, I felt yesterday's message was much more important. I'm back on script today, too. As this is the conversation about the future we're leaving, the next generation, and their views on it. With that, here's the interview with my nephew and his thoughts on Black Lives Matter and being Black in America. All right, thank you for joining me for a special episode of Bearing the Lightness of Being. Today, I have as a very special guest, my very own nephew, Christopher Morgan Jr. Hello. Say hello to the people, CJ. Hello, peoples. Um, so CJ is wearing a face mask because we went to the skate park, right? Mm -hmm. We did, and it's okay to look at me. You can look at me, you can look over there, you can look at, there we go. Look at you, look at you looking. All right, um, so I took you to the skate park today. And as we were talk, as we were driving, I was asking you, what did you think about the protests and the Black Lives Matter going on? What are your thoughts on that? Like I said, in the car, nothing was going to change. Why do you think nothing's going to change? Because after all this protest, they're going to go back to the same stuff. A cop killing one of us, they're going to start up back a riot. Then after that, it's going to get done. And so the same thing's gonna happen. We're just gonna repeat. Nothing really getting done. Cause like white cops and black cops are different. If a black cop would have helped the George Floyd out, he probably wouldn't be in jail right now. Hmm. White cops, they get bail and now they're free. Like like what I saw on Instagram the other day, the cop who had was helped kill George Floyd, he's out of jail already. He's out of jail on bail. He's still yeah. awaiting trial. Um, honestly, I hate that you feel that way, that nothing's going to change. Although, I'm not going to lie, I feel like that way sometimes, too. Like, it just sucks. How do you feel growing up as a young black man? I mean, it's a challenge. Why? Because you wake up every day, you don't know what's going to happen when you step out the door. It's like... I could get shot if I were a hood. If, and if I just reach in my phone, reach in my pocket, get my phone. Oh, you got a gun? No, it's just my phone. But they don't know that, though. They're just already assuming. How do those assumptions make you feel? Kind of mad. Sad. Because I could, I could probably be trying to sell something to somebody and they think I'm trying to sell drugs or something. Based Which? off what I'm doing. Which you are not selling drugs because you're an amazing young man and I'm very, very proud of you. What else do you think about the Black Lives Matter and what it feels to be young and black and gifted in America? It feels good, but they, they don't really want us to see a shine though. So that's why we gotta prove them wrong, make them more mad. Because when me and Jay talk about, he tell he tell me stuff what's going on too, how they don't like, they they don't want us drive the nice cars like I said in the car too. They mm -hmm. don't want to drive in Bentleys, her having mansions and all that. They want us to have, be low class, so that's why we strive to have high class stuff. You are very high class. You're class sexy, Jay. <laughs> um, sometimes I feel. I don't necessarily view it as a they versus us type thing where like they don't want us to have this, they don't want us to have that because who were they and sometimes that can feel very imaginary or like faceless and then you don't know who that faceless they are. So sometimes it helps me to make it very specific and say I feel this about a certain person or a certain way. You know what I'm trying to say there? It's, I think it's important that 
And maybe the they you're referring to is systemic racism, which feels like a very big word, but it's the system being stacked up against black people historically. So I really don't know where to go from here except that you're amazing. Is there anything else you want to say besides being awesome? Is Claire a color? Okay, we're not going to get into this because Claire is... Claire is not a color. You can't tell me what color is a window. A window is clear, and clear is and is it, not. It, it is, it is, isn't, is a color. How about that? It's not a color, though. If you can't give me a full description of clear. Clear is light. Light is all colors. We're talking about clear, though. Right. Clear. So, so, you, so you're telling me that clear is in a rainbow? Exactly. It's not in a rainbow. The rainbow comes from the clear. No, the rain. No, because you shine a light through a clear prism, and then boom, you got the rainbow. So, what color is lights then? It depends. Exactly. Lights have different temperatures, light, which influences light the color. Clear though. So, you can't, unfortunately, you can't, see, you can't see through the light. This is what so I deal with every time I mess with my nephew, but he's amazing. He still does not. Clear is know, not a color. Clear is a color. It's not a color though. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, okay. okay. We're gonna put it to the audience. Maybe they think that clear is a color. I don't know. Clear is not a color. Okay. Him, Michael, try to say clear is a color. I said not a color. Clear is all the colors. There are. If you can't tell me what. Black lives matter. But clear is not a color. Though. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my amazing nephew.